First major ask of Yale. Uh, I'm going to make two major asks of Yale. One is to combine Yale Shuttle and CT Transit. Mm -hmm. uh, those lines overlap, and one line is for one type of person, and then C the Yale Shuttle and then CT Transit is for everyone else. There's a justice issue, social justice issue that's involved with having these two separate lines. There is an environmental issue because it's wasteful when the lines are overlapping. There's an efficiency issue. And if we can combine the lines, we will allow uh, an increased uh, frequency of CT transit routes because Yale can inject some money into the CT transit system that they're currently putting into their own system. Uh, and there's a number of other cities that have done U Pass, Universal Pass, where they give a pass to their students. And yeah, Cornell does that. Yeah. Yep, Cornell does that. Uh, their Southern has done that, and Gateway has, has experimented with it as well. So it's done with it has been done with CT Transit. A great opportunity to increase the routes that CT Transit offers and take away some of the this uh, division that we see between. The What's your second ask? Uh, to increase the level of support that Yale gives to the entrepreneurial com uh, community in New Haven. This is, I think, one of the next generations of Yale's engagement with New Haven. And it's not just me that's saying that. It's folks at the Grove that are looking for more collaboration with the Yale Entrepreneurial Institute. The new thing they have on uh, Prospect Street? Yep. Back uh, the Grove and the Grid, right? Uh, no, I'm talking about Yale. You're talking about YEI, the yeah. Yale Entrepreneurial yeah. Institute, yeah. Institute, yes. Uh, Around the nation, cities are looking at these innovation hubs, innovation districts, and the, the no, there's no surprise, that's no surprise, you're seeing a new innovation economy, or, uh, mostly around IT. A lot of these new startup businesses don't have the same models as traditional businesses, and so attracting these folks that are innovative to your city will uh, help brand your city, help bring new investment dollars, but more importantly, a lot of new companies, new companies are the job creators. They're trying to grow rapidly. And the, traditionally, cities have tried to attract large companies to their cities, but large companies are actually- So what could Yale do that's not doing now for entrepreneurs? So Yale has a YEI that provides entrepreneurial and collaborative services for its community. The Grove has, uh, and the Grid, has an environment there where there's a lot of innovators, C-Click Fix, or folks like John Fitzpatrick that's starting an own, his own app about diabetes, uh, that are collaborating among themselves. And innovators, if you, if you talk with them across the border, looking for these environments where they can, these co-working spaces, where they can access expertise, say it's on how to raise venture capital. So we have that now with the Grid and Grove, and they're part of the statewide network. Yep. But you want to see that tapped into Yale's too? And, and vice versa, because we want to encourage Yale graduates to stay in New Haven. Uh, and we want to encourage folks that are innovating in New Haven to have more resources available to them, and Yale can provide that.